what up what up what up what's going on y'all so back again but this time I got a problem with my G80 granted it's been very cold out here these last couple of weeks and uh, my battery died right so this is the second time this has happened while I parked my car at work overnight, right? I, I work night shift, so um, so I had to leave the car, obviously, in the parking lot out in the, in the elements. Last time this happened, I had to get a jump from somebody. It jumped off nice and good, whatever, no problems, no issues. Was able to drive it off. Didn't have no issues with it after that. But here's the second night where it's super cold over, overnight and uh, it's dead again, right? So I don't think it's the alternator. It won't start up. It won't even make any type of clicking sound. Um, but I think that's just a function of how, how, the, uh, how the G80, how that particular car starts up. It, it doesn't do any like, it's a push button. So it's not gonna be cranking like eh, nothing like that, like a traditional car would. So I can't really diagnose if it's the starter or not, because it's it, it just starts silently or electronically or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but it don't make no traditional sound where you can kind of diagnose. Oh, that's the the starter's dead. Like it ain't making no sound at all or whatever. So um, all I'm left to do is assume that it's the it's the battery, right? It was a battery last time. I assume it's the battery this time. It just makes sense, right? So, get off 7 o'clock this morning. I got to get a ride from my homeboy, one of my co-workers. Drive me all the way home. I got to get my second car. Go get the battery. Purchase a new battery. Take, the, take my second car back to work, which is like... 20 minutes away, right? 20 minutes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, take the old battery out in this cold ass weather. Um, replace replace the new battery with the old battery. And then um, I got to go back home and get my wife to drive me back to work so I can pick up the car. I would take it with me now but uh my son's uh about to be getting uh getting on the school bus getting ready to get on the school bus and she's got to be there to uh see him off to the school to school so it would be so much easier if she could ride with me but you know while she's doing that i'm gonna go and take care of the battery and whatnot and uh by the time i get back home she should be ready to go and we'll just head right back out and I'll pick up the car, but it's a pain, man. This is this this battery situation is is getting old. I don't know if it's a like a just a bad battery that uh, Genesis provided, or that they they put into these cars or whatnot. Or I mean, cause this ain't no this ain't no extreme weather or nothing like that. It ain't like it's you know negative degrees out here. Like right now, the sun's up, but I would say maybe it was. 10 degrees last night, something like that, and that mug died out. The first time it died, it probably was like, it probably was like three or four degrees overnight. So, um, man, that sounds right. So it wound up, it wound up dying out in that temperature, and it died out in this temperature too. So hopefully this battery is the, is the answer to the problem, because if not, then I gotta go return this battery hopefully i can return the battery i never had to try to return a car battery before hopefully they take it back um then get a tow truck to get onto a post military post that's gonna be a whole nother set of issues with visitor passes and all of that get the car off get it to genesis or hyundai a genesis authorized dealer or servicer and the nearest one is probably about 45 minutes north of here. And uh, 
obviously probably paid some absorbent ass price to diagnose it and then repair whatever the issue is. So let's just hope it's this 200 something dollar battery and we'll be good to go and we won't have this issue again. But like I said, I hope, I hope it's not, uh, you know, a, a malfunction battery or whatnot. Cause these, these temperatures are not that extreme, you know, for what a battery should should be taking or should be able to endure. But uh, clearly that ain't the case. So we'll see. And I will show you guys the process and where the battery is located and how it's going, you know, how hard it's, it is to take it out and everything like that. So stay tuned. This is it. This is the old girl all frosted over. So what's weird, you see that the windshield folds out. My button works, my unlock button. Everything works, right? So when I press down on the brake, see? don't work so uh, no dice on that we gonna head open the trunk trunk work automatic it's so weird it's weird because it did this exact same thing last time right so I uh I tried to use this battery last night because I bought this after the first time that it wound up dying out on me thinking oh, okay if it does it again then i'm just gonna i'm just gonna you know have this battery ready and then i could just go ahead and pop it on and we'll be good to go right and uh you know i won't i won't have to have nobody jump me none of that type of stuff it'll be good because i just throw it on there it's portable but when I used it, it didn't work. And I know it worked, cause check it out. The battery is on. And when I touch the two little, little prongs together, it um it um it sparks. So I don't know what the fuck, if it's just not powerful enough or what, but Oh, hold on. Let me show y'all this real quick, too. All right, let me take. I got this thing in the way. Get y'all all the way back here. All right. Got that off. So they put this damn battery in one of the goofiest places. Right? So the battery is up under this carpet. And then you got to grab this little thing, pull it up. And I think there's a hook up here for it. Here, it's hard to hold the camera and uh, do this at the same time. Give me a minute. All right. So that's the battery. That's the spare tire, all of that stuff. It's the lug nut thing, all that good shit, right? But this is the battery. So now, I gotta fuck around and figure out how this battery is supposed to come off because I ain't never had to deal with no shit like this, whatever this is. So, I think it's just a screw though. Here, let me try something else. Now, check this shit out. So, I got the ratchet, which is of size, right? It's a little, it's a short one, but it should be able to go in there. But no, of course not, because the fucking thing, this whole little piece right here is down there, right on top of the where the fucking nut is on the the bolt is on there, right? And I can't fucking get this thing on there. So now I gotta use 
one of these but obviously look how high that is right so I can't get flat with it I can't get flat with the damn with the thing last or third issue is even when I get it on there I don't have no turn radius I got maybe like a fucking like super centimeter like <laughs> not even right so I can get it up top here but then I got to use a screwdriver to put it in the top like this and then use some leverage to kind of crank and turn it around so fuck man this shit is this is a pain let me see about this shit is like directly over top I cannot get definitely can't do that and I can't even set the motherfucker now even cause the shit's all canted up like this This shit is bullshit, bro. Why they do this? Wow. Wow. <sighs> so I'm going to try to daisy chain two jumper cables together. And then... Hopefully that'll be long enough to stretch all the way to my car. See the fucked up thing is, is I like to back, I like to reverse park into parking spots. But that's kind of fatal. It's a fatal move when you got a car that um you got a car that has the battery in the fucking trunk, right? So if my if my car would have had the battery in the hood like most other cars and we'd be straight i just use one set of jumper cables it'd be good to go but it's not so i gotta go the whole length of this car all the way over to the trunk which is much further obviously so let's get these fucking cables out man shit all right, so we got these two cords, all right, hooked up, running all the way down to another set of cords, which is going to extend all the way down here, hopefully to the trunk. Looks like it's going to work. So let's test to see if we got, a, got some connection. Yep, we're good to go. Drop this. Negative, and we're gonna drop this on the positive. Oh, wait, let me plug this thing in. I don't know if that got something to do with it. Before I fuck up something, it's so fucking hard. I don't, I really don't understand why they put this shit in here like this. This don't make no fucking sense. You could barely get a place to grip on a goddamn on the fucking uh on the damn uh terminal like it's the stupidest shit they don't put this shit sunk it all the way down into some damn plastic fairing thing ah, all right let's get us a little bit of juice while i get this bit some juice i can get warm 
Look at my hands. Shit. My hands is crusty. Fucking dry. Cold. Frozen. Damn, it's cold out there, boy. I tell you what. Shit. sit for a little bit man but like i was saying this shit it shouldn't be this it shouldn't be this difficult like the worst thing about this whole whole situation is the fact that that little that little hard little plastic piece because they got the terminal hey excuse my hands i'm crusty y'all like it's it's super cold damn cold and suck all my all all my damn little the moisture out of my hands and I've been washing my hands all day anyways at work because you know you got to stay clean keep your hands clean and uh doing this COVID-19 and whatnot so anyways so yeah the terminal is like like right here but this plastic shit is like right on top so it's stopping you from being able to take off take off the screw to the terminal and it's making it real fucking hard to be able to connect the dang on uh the jumper cable to the to the terminal because it's it's in that little that little hole where you gotta and then the, the terminal ain't ain't but this big and i can't barely like the teeth for the for the jumper cable can't even clamp on to the to the terminal because it's so it's so short what the fuck y'all do this for like come on i ain't think motherfuckers got a jumper car all right here we go moment of truth Bitch. All right, check this shit out, y'all. So, I think there is a uh terminal on the front I didn't know there was a term terminal in the front so this bitch right here I looked inside under the hood and I seen this positive right here I'm like oh okay so maybe just maybe there's a connection to where I could plug up to on the front so let's fucking test that out I'm gonna test the battery first. And if the battery work, then we good. If not, all right, so I hook that bad boy up on there. Nothing. All right, back. so take that bitch off. And we're gonna try to, uh, we're gonna try the other shit. Put the ground on some metal. back so that should be good enough keep my motherfucking fingers up and run some juice to this bitch if this don't work i don't know what the fuck gonna work bro for real because this shit is getting cold so i'm gonna try to put a hammer or some shit down there I can keep the uh, keep the accelerator going. Gotta do some jury rig shit around here, man. Watch this. Here we go. <clears throat> Bitch, don't stop. Take that off, shit. Don't want to leave that on too long. Want to burn up my little faux banger up in here. You know what I'm saying? My little faux banger. Um, yeah, this motherfucker. I'm not getting nothing. I'm not getting shit from it. Um, yeah. I don't know what the fuck, man. 
that's a positive connection that's part of the reason i didn't go straight to this to this front because last time i tried to use this front terminal and that shit didn't work all right we got juice so that's not a problem i mean i don't know what else to i mean where's the fucking ground that just um, should be on just metal right shit Any type of metal. I'm gonna just bitch out. I'm gonna try that. Bare metal on bare metal. This motherfucker right here, boy, I swear. Shit, man. Got that bad boy started. Fuck. So it was the weirdest thing. So when I had the jumper cables connected to the car, um, it wouldn't start up at all. It would not start up whatsoever. But uh, I took the cables off and I'm just like, fuck it, I'm finna call insurance, right? and be done with this mod, right? Just let them deal with it, tow it, whatever you're gonna do, just do it, right? That's what they get paid to do, that roadside assistance. So, um, so I'm like, I'm done with it. Took all the cables off and um, some just told me like, just try it one more time. I tried it, I pushed the damn button, started up. I'm like, what the hell? As soon as I take the cables off, it wouldn't start with the cables on. It only start with the cables off of the motherfucker. Like I don't get, I don't understand this car. I don't know what the fuck going on. They design is fucked up. The, it didn't do that last time. The last time that I jumped it, I put the cables right on it, hooked it up to my homeboy's car, and no, actually it was this car. I hooked it up to the same, this very same car, and started right up with the cable still on there. This time. It wouldn't start with the cables on there. And then as soon as I take the cables off, it starts. I, I just don't get it, man. This, this goddamn G80 is something else. I ain't never had to deal with no no, uh, no vehicle as, as finicky as this one is. Um, so either way it go, good news. I got it, got it started up. I got a new battery already, so I'm just gonna get this bad boy back home. And, uh, but it's not, I'm not in the Genesis now, but I'm gonna get it started back up, get it going to the house. Then I'll have the time and the space and the tools and, you know, all of that, the, the heat shit. Cause working on a car out here in 12 degree weather is brutal. So I get it to my garage and, uh, I have more time and opportunity and space to get in there and take that terminal off and figure out how the hell I can get that thing, get that going and put the new battery on and uh, go back and get, he like said it was $25, $25 for the uh, old battery, if I bring the old battery in. So I'm gonna try that out, give, give him the old battery in. Shit, man. I think that old battery is still good to be honest, but I mean, this, if it's gonna keep dying out like this, when the weather dropped down to, you know, 10 degrees or whatever the fuck overnight, like, that ain't the battery for me. You know what I'm saying? I live in a state where it get cold, so I need that mug to start in the cold, goddamn. So, um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and switch it out. They gonna get a fucking pretty good battery, probably, because it's only 30 some thousand miles on it. Um, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be dead. It shouldn't be that bad. Out. But then again, I don't know. I ain't no battery expert. It could be, uh, you know, the life cycle of that particular battery. But either way it go, I'm going to put the new one in and, and we're going to call it a day. And uh, if this happens again, I will report back to y'all about what happened and what I did to get over that hurdle or that issue. Um, and I'll, I'll probably do a little coverage about how... Uh, I managed to get that terminal off 
Um, that way, y'all know, because the last thing y'all want to do is be jacking around on the side of the road uh, or in the cold like I like I had to, trying to figure out how to get that damn thing off. So I'll come back with another video, and I'm pretty sure there ain't a video out there on YouTube right now that covers how to take off the battery terminal for 2019 G80 Sport. So I'll be one on one, baby. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'll be back with another video uh, following up with this one. But thank y'all for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, drop me a comment.